Hello and welcome back to Pick and Plays. Stellaris, we are back now. The In Irrobot Grid has attacked us. And we'll actually start off this episode by watching a little bit of a fight going on Ships in this ring. location where the the uh, galactic fleet, partially built by me, is attacking wave upon wave of the enemy as they try to enter the system. I think that is a good use of their time. Now the battlesh battleships and other ships are in, but still 63,000 from the galactic fleet should be enough. We got my ships in there, we got other ships in there. It is an absolute bloodbath and it's a lovely sight to see, forcing that back our enemies. Because so long as this fleet was in the area, I'm glad this fleet was in the area, lest more of our fleets be lost to their fleets. Parsax has been taken over. We have the first, the, the second capital fleet in the location. That's the only troops that we have really to defend with. Let's see, looking on around. I have the third Outer Rim fleet going to take over the last little bit so we can take over the Zabir Hegemony just fine. You are heading towards the capital to be able to defend there. And you, oh, the Gradual Free Traders have actually gotten to a fight. 65,000. Ah, yes, you have gotten your troops in. Good sir. Now then, with my 30,000, we might have be enough. Ooh, good. The Parthenax Vortex Habitat is complete. Parthenax Vortex overlooking a... Initiating communications. Just because. You can like start back. A smart kisk we fire mines would be amongst it. Good for you. You want to join us. Nice. You want to have our our people be shared. Then come to enemy mayhaps. We're going to send my fleet up. And if we can attach ourselves... Because you're going to Unaria for upgrades at the moment. If we can attach ourselves to this fleet. We might have some chances. Society lacks an officer. We have... Oh, we have a couple of guys just sitting around. Helga Weber... And a cyborg, Dulavar. Oh, oh, that's a bug. Okay, recruit a scientist because that's very cheap of us to not, to do. Recruit a new scientist because that's mm, no, not Helga Weber again. That's very cheap of us to just use duplicates like that. Scientist Husen Tarani is dead. I wonder if the Liberis are you still yeah, you still controlled by the Muchatis as you were before. We're going to come in here. Hostile fleet present in our own territories. Mm, they keep pushing on. Now, at the moment, the only thing that's able to defend would be this fleet from the Bergen Mandate. So, they're starting to come into our own territory. So, this, these territories were taken recently. They're not uh, all that important to us. Coming down through here. Uh, let's see. In the Glorious Alliance War. Oh, uh, the Galactic Republic versus Glorious Alliance War. Okay. Settle status quo. But we get to keep what sides we can. That would be between the League of Tebor and the Mezuko Nucleus. Although I should hold out for now. Because we can use uh, League of Tebor lands to attack into their lands. Which I think is important. Although we're starting the Siege of Cyrilex. Which is full of Katari, actually, strangely enough. But you guys need to go over and enter the orbit of Cyrex. Cyrilex. Well, you guys need to come down here as well. Then, where are some other ones? There's Hexilion here that needs to be sieged down. For the most part, we are just... Um, Garantra Free Traders have been hurt enough. They are falling back to here. If we can just put our borders along with them... We don't have many areas for them to fight in. We got their troops, which are just surrounded and outgunned by 2 to 1. And now by 10 to 1. They'll try, but they're not going to succeed. Then we have Bergen Mandate ships, which are also not long for this world if they go against them. Our fleet is the best bet we got. Most I just need to get... Yeah, these fleets are... Pretty, pretty good at uh, using the League of Tebor lands as a jumping off point. Now that you have been taken, you've been taken, and ah, these lands are actually being taken for the Accord of Blem. Unfortunate, but true. Just need to take the last little bit, and we can call it a victory in this part of the galaxy. 
Let's see, we already have... Where not? We have... Yeah. You are coming along. You, the first fleet, can be the ones, if you'd like to go there, that'd be very useful. To go from Unaria across the world and use our network. Because so long as Zimbek stands, we have a connection throughout the galaxy. It's only 900 there. I would like to extend our deal. Our base here is not strong enough to defend, and we don't really have any... Def we have Masaya, which will be able to withstand a decent attack for a while. And we have Zembek, which will be able to withstand a decent attack for a while. Because the farther these Ingbots go, they seem to just be absorbing random territories into their lands without much uh, use. Hmm. It's hard to say. This territory has already been taken. And... Uh, 6,000 in that fleet, 1,800 in this fleet. Ships upgraded. We knew of this fleet, but what happened to their great fleets? What happened to them? There was a fleet of 100,000 a minute ago. Or is that your base? Well, your base is 300, so I don't think it's that. You, a fully upgraded and aggressive stance, will launch an attack on the base itself. Grant you free traders. Where might you be going? Move to the Kina system. Now is not the time for that. Now is the time to fight off this, these invaders. Come on. Get, get your stuff together. Come on. Over here. I think that the war against the Glorious Lands... No. The war against the sub, Subjugation War is done. So... Great Republic... Sisma's new Zeboran Empire will be created the ally... 12 Zebran systems. Settle status quo. Send offer. We need to end the war in the West, the one that's been going for a long time. Presence in the galaxy has not gone by unnoticed. Yes, yes, it has not been noticed. So, the Zebran hegemony, status quo, peace. We'll accept this for now. So, we have the. Oh, this is, this is kind of weird. The. What's this called? The Yemex Singularity. Zebra hegemony stays on Propus, I see, but elsewhere goes to the Zebra Consensus, which is now our vassal in the region. Okay, good. Meanwhile, all... Ah, I see. So Kingdom of the Yardrum lives on the two places it was left alone. The Kingdom of the Yardrum versus Beyond, which, which has Yardrum on it. I say that we need to have our own little vassal in the region. So we can create vassal. Must be a piece to create vassal. Okay, good to know. This area will just kind of be unruly for a bit. We need to focus in the west, in the western lands. They'll keep pushing up. The Zasmak with Navfilef will be able to hold out a little bit. Zebra Consensus has entered the wars. Yeah, we need to make sure that these planets go down. Mm, we've taken... Oh, apparently we have taken zero relative war exhaustion. That's good. And now, how do you stack up against us? You're still considered superior. Fleet power is pathetic. Naval capacity is overwhelming. Oh, if you're pathetic compared to me, then we can just take out your back line. Because we know exactly what's in the capital right now, and we can take it out. We have the power to do that. We've already destroyed most of your big fleets. Even if you come against our... Mm, they'll be able to take that out. That's one of my regions that I need to defend. But if it falls, it falls. Hmm. Going through this. Unrest, unemployment, unrest. Yeah, that's going to happen. Too many colonized systems. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that could be a problem. Okay. If I can't make it into a proper... Vassal, I do need to make you at least into a sector. So Yardaram actually is a great name for this sector. Thank you. All the way over now to Sismak. That'll do. Came to the Yardaram. Yardaram systems. Through here. We can take Phonix. I'm starting to think this isn't an end goal crisis and it's just a regular civil war situation. That's what I'm starting to think. They're taking over to 
Vasila. Now they're going to come down to Edabanner and Jingyang. Which, wait a minute, Jingyang, that's the, like the last place where there's humans? Proper humans? No, they seem to all be human illustratum. So maybe I'm mistaken. Where is my army? First Earth Fleet is a long ways away. They need to get to Unaria before they can even manage to get in. But if you can take out their core world of phonics. Time for some payback, everybody. Take out what ships we can. Screening ships will go forth. Take out their ships. Take out their leaders. Lovely. Phonics is taken. Can't go on to Coloctrin land, though. Have to wait for them to come through. Bistro needs to be taken out. Including... Ah, they're starting to be assimilated. We need to stop that real quick. But go, yeah, go to Selective. We need to get... We need to get actual fleets to come in and stop that process, though. Here. Come on, we need to finish this up. You finish that up real quick. If we're going to need that, then we need... Hmm, where is it? We need... You're coming that way. Ah, Unaria, you've already made it. Nice. Transfer. Oh, come on. Come on. You're in the same system. It's pretty much being a neighbor. Come on. Get together. All of them. Do so. Please. Transfer ships. There we go. See, now why can't you just have done that? Mm-hmm. Click both. Select that. Nice. So basically, I need to go to... Uh, Zemek is on the front line. Wait until you get actual defensive forces. You... CLX is a important situation. I'll let you handle it. If we can prevent the defeat... Unrest grounded. Okay. We need to prevent all these aerobots who have effective processors. You need to stop them. System, what was this? System not connected to a se sector. Oh. Well, go away for a second. Melissa was taken, <clears throat> which means that they get my Citadel as well. Edelbor starting to be taken. Oh, wait, what? The Bergen Mandate sent a fleet through, but they just kind of left? Uh, but what? We need to end the wars up there. We need to finish off the Colactron Wars. Luckily, it just kind of take Bisto. They have no armies. They have no armies. You need to go back and take out that fleet. Then go and take on that fleet. Hmm. First, take on that fleet. Then, take back Messia. Then, we just need to keep pushing on. They're going to... Where are you going? Where are you going with that fleet? Uh, even if this isn't a endgame crisis, it's a pretty interesting mid-game crisis. Because, yeah, in our far reaches, it is not going too good. We still need to keep taking out the Mezzico Nucleus. I'm sure our allies are sending in as many support units as they can. Kingdom of the Ardurum lives on just because of extraneous circumstances. Where is my major navy? Are they already in? Ah, they did make it. Okay, in that case. First Earth Fleet. We got some plans. You gotta take out that navy. Then you need to take out this navy, which is relatively evenly matched. Then go to Messiah. Peace was offered to the Court of Blem. War ended... Oh, I already know about that. In any case, you go straight on to Messia. Oh yeah, you need to take out the smaller functions. and Start taking them back. Then let's go to Messia. And Dungar, for that matter. Then, if they're in, then we can start sending... Not a rescue for the Peace and Bukaner. Yeah, I know, it's a major problem, isn't it? Establishing colony. Ah, these guys. So annoying. Go to Zemek, please. Please and thank you. This is... Uh, just just taking out some bases. Not that bad. 
Yeah, I'm sure anyone who actually knows what they're talking about when it comes to this game will know that um, in the last episode when I said this might be an endgame crisis, I was kind of hyperbolic. Because I don't know, it seemed like the... I forget what it's called, the... Um... Hmm. Some... It's, it's the one where AI take over and start taking out everything in the world. But I don't know what's called. We're gonna have to charge into Messia and take out their 1,000 retreating fleet. <coughs> 26 days. It's kind of good that the Garantu free traders were here with the major empire. You. Decided to keep association status to the Stellar League. Ooh. That ain't too good. Taking out the trash. My question is where did they get all these ships? Because we did. We, the Collectrons definitely did not have this many ships. Take out their fleet. Colony. We need to come down this way. Do we the end of the world? Nice, I got that done. Need to take you out, and then Xinjiang currently has their world intact. Good. You are coming through. Going to take out as many people as we can. So, as you take out this force. Then come back to there. Fight what you can, fight what you can do. You, we are needed on phonics. On Bristo. <coughs> Initiating communications. Hmm, do you not have an option to land there? Then here, minerals or gases, sure. Oh, the Coloctra have actually managed to hold back? They have a fleet together again. How did you manage that? But they have a fleet and they're sending it through. Nice. You have your stuff ready. Nanobot fleet is fine. Send your fleet in. We need to take out as many of these guys as we can. <coughs> uh, let's see. You hold back a second. You reshift. Gonna need to take down this fleet. The 1000 that's shown up. You still need to move on to phonics. You need to get in here. Come on. Gotta go. Then we need to keep up those sieges. Let's see what's going on. That's Cyrilex. This is probably good enough that we can land the armies. It's their difficult sieges. They got a lot of troops there. It's another siege to be had here. Forces. That should be the last siege. Everything else seems to be ours. Negative balance in, in energy credits, governing shift in the Kalazan Republic. I don't care right now. We have our own problems to deal with. You can move on to there. You need to move on to phonics again. Okay, the civil war is taken care of. Nice. Then here, you there. Technology discovered. Government, where you went. No, I need to talk to... The League of Tambor. I can make claims against them, particularly in Roshan. Conquered. Rosh Hashana. For reasons. I have reasons for this. Technology for the command. Nice. Because I have all my fleets in the general area now, so we might as well take over as much as we can. Long Here, updated. Chancellor of the Republic is Lena Weber. Okay. Who is this Lena Weber? Now, come on, government. Lena Weber with the weird hair. She is cyborg, investor, charismatic. But who are you? Who is Lena Weber? Go to the factions. Let's figure this out. Lena Weber is the Association of Technological Progress. Progress? Association for Technological Progress. I said it again, even though I knew I shouldn't have. Come on, Bisto. You guys need to land on Bisto. What's wrong? Hallowed. Following a time of social unrest, we receive reports, yada yada yada. So you are converging robots. Please land there, though. Please land there. Land armies, come on. We need to stop this. Oh, boy. They send a fleet behind us. Luckily enough... Brenna Na Redgan is going to come in forces. and help. Over here. Colony conquered. 
Good. And what happens with this? Converging roll bounce will expire. Well, I think we should hopefully be able to stop this. So, yeah, they're being disassembled. Everyone else is getting purged. And looks like all's well that ends well. Although, for some reason, these territories have been left alone? What happened? What happened to these places? They just kind of um, fell apart. Especially there. Do we just need to rebuild them? Transport fleets, science ships, construction ships. I mean, if we just need to rebuild them, that ain't too bad. Move an outpost out there. Just a little weird that we have to rebuild them, but, you know, it is what it is. There was... Ah, oh, alien space station. Why is it called... Oh, they must have destroyed the outpost and replaced it with an alien space station, maybe? I don't know. Seems a little buggy. But the rebellion is under wraps. And now we need to focus on taking Roshan before the end of the war. And you move over here. Uh, hey, you guys get your fleets together. Come on. Me and Savage is here. Uh, go here. Go over Hexelion. Slowly whittle them down. Very close to being able to get them out. Uh, well, no contingency plan, which is the thing I was trying to say earlier. Newly elected in Olympia. Hmm? Hmm. We have unrest in pretty much all the systems inside of this region. They're all very mad at us. Then, Onin Prinda. Hmm. Sikkim. We could rebuild this Dyson Sphere now. Dyson Sphere, just build that up. Go ahead, do it. Rebuild the Dyson Sphere. Then there is a... On Seoul, right? Gateway construction site. It is building. Nice, nice. You, though. You're going. You, though. We need, on our capital, its own megastructure. A great way construction zone would be very nice. Going towards... Eh, maybe this way. Going towards Tigara. Just because... Kind of on the side where everyone else is. You guys are... Oh, yeah. I need to actually give you jobs. Astro Mining Bay. What we, security zone or resource replicator. Monthly minerals up. Hmm. Solar power. Yeah. Looks like we could use some solar power in here. Unrest Grounded is coming up Colony quite a lot. Established. Uh-huh. Ah, good. We tend, to, we tend to use them a lot, huh? You come back to... I suppose you could specifically come back to the capital. This too shall pass. When the army's there. Then we have our fleets coming on down, going to take here. The reason I want to take here is because I want to honestly build a habitat there and place it in the lands of the Corinthians while taking out the, the Corinthians. Because we do have a, a very small but uh, species, you know, species, toggle species, build a colony there and then make it a vassal state. Toggle species showing in the galaxy. No, in my empire, please. We have Avalonians, we have Bergens. Nice, we have Katari, Salemi. Yeah, we have a very small but decent population of Con Conithians. Construction complete. Which I would find funny if we built up habitats inside of the Conthinian freebooter territory after we destroy the Corinthian freebooters. And that would just... It would be funny to me as this series draws to a close. Because within a few days Colony now, there is going to be the release of that new video. Also, St. Saint, Saint Pomeroy. Uh-huh. Ah, good. You want to be given association status. I would love that, honestly. I want every nation to have some kind of association status with us. That is on good terms. Did they take much from you? I don't know if they did. But you're a rival to them, make claims, close borders, offer a trade deal. Research for research. They don't want to give it up. They never want to keep you up. All in all, in this episode, we took out that. Now then, I know I'm very, very far into this video, but I really want to make sure that we take 
Kixkillion. It's like the last place we need to take. These two places meet up in the middle with your android armies. Is it too much for your fleets? Who knows? Either way. Launch the assault. We're done here. Send down the ships. Deploying liberation forces. Mm -hmm. And what's left of our attack armies with a little bit of post granite clone army in there too. Should be enough to push us through the victory. Colony. We've taken Roshan. We can go to Aberdeen's demise, but that is a bad plan. Uh, the best possible outcome. And the end of the Mezzacun nucleus. Lovely. All things that I wanted to see happen. So, Mezzacun nucleus has been taken over. I can now extend their lands to my own. In Mezxas surface, they are being disassembled as we do not like their kind. Who knows, it might have even been them that caused the Collector to have such a big problem with their own uh, territories. You, pathetic but loyal. I like you. I'm going to start making out some new vassal states and the like with that thing for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!